Greetings. My name is Cynthia Davis. I am the Quality Assurance Evaluator at Camp Parks Reserve Forces Training Area, located in Dublin, California, with the 404th AFSB. Today, we will be discussing AFMIS requirements in order to perform the contract management requirements. Let's start with building close dates. The building close dates process is used by the installation contracting officer's representative, the COR, to identify days of the month that the warrior restaurants are not operational. Based on the actual number of operational days for each warrior restaurant tied to a specific type of food service contract, a lot size is computed by the system. This information is used in AFMIS when the random surveillance process is run to create a fair surveillance schedule based on contract requirements and to avoid scheduling a surveillance of a particular warrior restaurant on a day when the warrior restaurant is closed. It is also used when the COR generates a contract sampling plan. This concludes this session. We will now transition to performance indicator maintenance process. Performance indicator maintenance process provides the Joint Culinary Center of Excellence, JCCOE, and the contracting officer representative, the COR, a list of performance indicators as a template for various contract management processes. JCCOE and the core can create, edit, and delete performance indicators using this process. The list of performance indicators for JCCOE will have numbers prefixed by API, Army Performance Indicator. The list of performance indicators for the COR will have numbers prefixed by LPI, Local Performance Indicator. The types of contracts a performance indicator can be associated with is stored with a performance indicator. This is used by the contract management process to display only those performance indicators for the type of contract being created or modified. Once saved to the database, the user will not be able to change the performance indicator name. Note, any changes made to API list for JCCOE will not affect the LPI list for the COR and vice versa. This concludes this session. We will now transition to the contract management process. The contract, man the contract management process is used by the installation COR to enter the contract information for those food service contracts that are in use in installation warrior restaurants and to tie individual warrior restaurant operations to specific types of contracts. The process is used to enter all pertinent information about the contract to include the contract line item numbers, CLINs, and the performance indicators associated with each type of contract. CLINs are used in the contract cost entry process when entering the actual contract cost for the contract. The installation can have multiples of the below listed types of contracts as long as the combination of contract number and service type are unique. Contracting Officer Representative, COR, users access add contracts to system, modify existing contracts, expire contracts, assign a reinspection fee to each contract, create contract line item numbers, claims for each contract, assign buildings to contracts, assign performance indicators to contracts, assign acceptable quality levels, AQLs, to each performance indicator. Assign maximum fee percentages to each performance indicator. This concludes this session. We will now transition to contract cost entry process. The contract cost entry process is used by the contracting officer representative, the COR, to enter the actual contract cost information 
for contracts that are in use in installation warrior restaurants slash buildings. The COR can enter or modify costs for both active and expired contracts. The contract cost information will be fed up to the decision support system, DSS, and retained in eight and the contract cost information will be fed up to the decision support system, DSS, and retained in AFMIS for a period of seven years after the contract period has expired. Since the contract costs are fed into DSS, it is imperative that the data entered is accurate and complete. Contract information must first be entered in the contract management process for all of the installation's food service contracts. Tenants must be assigned to buildings in the building maintenance process. The contract cost entry process is dependent on the information contained in these other two processes. This concludes this session. We will now transition to contract cost report process. The contract cost report process is used by the installation contracting officer representative the COR, to print the contract cost report for activities on the installation. The report may be printed for any period of time for a specific contract by selecting the appropriate date range. The report displays information that was entered for each contract in the contract cost entry process. The report may be printed for both active and expired contracts. Contract cost information is entered by the COR in the contract cost entry process and is maintained in the system for seven years after the end date of each contract. This concludes this session. We will now transition to random surveillance plan process. The random surveillance plan process is used by the installation contracting officer representative, the COR, to create a surveillance schedule for the assistant contract, contracting officer representative, the ACOR, to use for evaluations of contract warrior restaurant operations. This process is dependent on information entered by the COR in the contract management and building close date processes. The schedule is generated based on each type of contract on the installation and the number of warrior restaurants tied to that contract. The number of operational days for all warrior restaurants tied to the contract is used to determine the lot size for each type of contract. This information in conjunction with the number of inspections, the sample size, for each type of contract is used by the system to create a random surveillance plan for installation warrior restaurants. You can create a random surveillance plan for the current month and or next month. This concludes this session. We will now transition to contract sampling plans. Good afternoon. I'm Mr. Larry Jones. I'm an installation food program manager and contracting officer representative for Fort Novacell, Alabama, formerly known as Fort Rucker. Uh, we have now just um, transitioned to the contract sampling plan process. Uh, the sampling plan process is used by the installation contracting officer representative, COR, to create, modify, and print sampling plan for the assistant contracting officer representative, the ACOR, to use for the evaluation of services performed by the contractor in contract operated warrior restaurants. It is the primary method for measuring contract performance and establishing the acceptance or rejection levels for each service. The sampling plan when completed is the document used by the COR to determine how many evaluations are required to be performed on each service each month. The contract sampling plans process is dependent on information entered by the COR in the contract management process, the performance indicator, indicator maintenance process, 
and the building close date process. You can create a contract sampling plans for the current month and or the next month. The sampling plan may contain Army or local performance indicators and planned and random performance indicators. AFNIS will maintain a history of all changes made to contract sampling plans. There are two methods used for sampling plans. Random sampling, as defined as a method used to evaluate contract tasks and services to perform daily. It is primary method for measuring contract performance. Each service output in a lot has an equal chance of being selected for an inspection. The results of a random evaluations are compared against the number of allowable defects to determine the overall quality of the service. Plan sampling, a sampling method used to evaluate contract or task and services performed less frequently than daily. Evaluations that are scheduled when tasks and or services are performed, for example, receiving and storage services, field feeding services, the task scheduled in accordance with the approved cleaning plan. This concludes this session, and we will now transition to the contract PRS defect entry process. The PRS defect entry process is used by the installation COR and assistant contracting officer representative or quality assurance evaluator to enter defect information for those food service inspections that have been identified in, in the contract sampling's plans. The process is used to enter all defects noted during inspection for a specific contract. Performance indicators had been assigned to the contract on the contract management process. Once defects have been entered, they can be modified, added, or removed from the defect details. This concludes the summary of contract management requirements in AFMIS. I encourage you, COR and AFMIS. The next transition will be the contract PRS defect reports process is used by the installation COR and the assistant COR to, to print the following contract performance reports. Monthly PRS performance record worksheet. Monthly PRS performance record. The monthly performance record by building. The monthly contract performance requirement summary reports process allows the contracting officer representative to view or print the monthly contract PRS report. The monthly PRS report is the document used to report the contractor's overall performance of the services listed in the PRS to the contracting officer. It provides a visual comparison of the evaluation report results at the end of each month to the sampling plan developed at the beginning of the month. The evaluation results, when compared to the established AQLs, provides documentation on how well the contractor has performed each service on the PRS. I thank you for your attention. This will conclude our summary of our overall of our contract management um, module in AFMIS. I encourage you as you go through our AFMIS to utilize the help um, tool under each module, which provides a lot of the instructions and get you more familiar as you begin your duties as a COR or quality assurance evaluator in support of our Army Food Service Program. Welcome to our team.